What's up guys? I know I haven't posted a video in a while on the, on the channel. I know my brother's been doing most of it. Uh, they're up there in Farmington and, and Durango, Colorado area, so they got a lot of a lot of beautiful scenery and uh, a lot of things going on. A lot better content for you. I've been busy at the house back here in Lovington, packing up the rest of our stuff because um, Thursday we're leaving to join them. Uh, I've already got us a house up there. It's a uh, Oh, two-story townhome. It's pretty nice. I'll do a little video of it when I get up there. Uh, we should be trying to go ahead and finalize that Monday. Uh, but what I wanted to do is um, I'm on my way to Walmart right now to pick up some money. And uh, I thought while I was in the car with the kiddos, I would go ahead and make it a little update video since I haven't made one lately. But it's going to be on a little bit more of a serious topic uh, than our videos usually are. Uh, Surely, uh, a lot of you have heard of August 22nd, the solar eclipse that we're having. Uh, it's going to go, uh, it's the largest that this country's ever had, possibly the largest this planet's ever seen. It's going to cover uh, America from its west coast to its east coast. So the entire, the entire country, and some states lasting up to two and a half minutes. That's a pretty big eclipse. And then after that, on September 23rd, um, maybe a lot of you have heard of this, uh, maybe haven't, but the constellation, um, the Virgo, that's the Virgin. Uh, so that's what I want to talk to you a little bit about today is, uh, uh, first off, I don't know a lot of you read the Bible, I don't know if you're religious, but for those of you that do or that haven't, here you go. There's a book in the Bible, it's the last book in the Bible, Revelations. And what Revelations is, is it's a book about the end about the end of all days, the end of time. And uh, it gives you several, several things you can look for to let you know when um, the end is near, when the end is coming, when prophecy is coming to pass. And Revelation 12 speaks of the virgin. It says that a woman will appear in the sky and she will bear a child and that a great red dragon will wait to consume that child after, yeah, once it's, um, consume it after birth. Okay, right now, a constellation is in our skies called Virgo, it's the Virgin. It says she'll wear a crown of 12 stars. Right above her head, Leo is right above her head, which is only made up of nine stars, but I believe it's Mars, Mercury and Venus, I could be wrong on them three, but three of our planets have moved into that constellation, making 12. It says the sun will be to her back and the moon beneath her feet. Right now, which this doesn't happen all the time, it's never happened before, it's happening now. The sun has moved into position to where it's behind her, it's to her back, and the moon is beneath her feet. Jupiter has moved into a certain position to where it's going to hold and stay in her womb in the constellation Virgo, the, feet of the Virgin, and her womb for nine months to the day exact. From the day it gets there to the day it gets out. When it exits, it's going to exit out to where the birth canal would be between her legs. Beyond Virgo, the constellation Virgo, Google. Google Space tried to blur it out. They, they put a black bar, they censored it. But you can, I believe, still see it on uh, Google Sky if they blocked it from there too, because uh, a lot of people's catching on to this. Just do a quick Google search of uh, Red Dragon uh, in, in the sky and it should pull it up. Uh, go to images. Beyond her, like I said, there's a red, there's a figure, very ominous. Uh, but you can make it out very clearly, plain as day. It is a red dragon. Um, in nine months, it will be directly underneath the constellation's feet. Directly underneath the um, Virgin's feet, Virgo's feet, uh, symbolically waiting on the birth of, of the child, Jupiter. This is not something I'm making up, this is not opinion, this is all very real. Quick internet searches on Google or YouTube, either one will yield uh, plenty of results uh, for this. Um, uh, a lot of uh, Google searches will yield um, trustworthy 
uh, information uh, that can be trusted. It's not uh, all gimmicks or tabloids. And this is very real. This is happening now. Um, it also speaks to get back to the con uh, the eclipse. It speaks of the sky turning dark as sackcloth. And that's gonna, that will take place right before the virgin gives birth. Well, that eclipse that we're having is going to blot out the sun completely, completely dark. You'll be able to see the stars. It's going to be completely dark for a time. That's to happen August 22nd. And then September 23rd is when the rest of this is to take place with the... With the, the a constellation Virgo I was telling you about, the Virgin. So, what this means is, is for those of you that, that, that are believers, that, that believe in, in our Lord and Savior, and uh, you read the Bible, you follow the Bible, you believe what it says is true, which I know there's a lot of yahoos out there these days that think uh, there is no God, that man created God, not God created man. I don't want to talk about that right now. Maybe that's for another video. But um, me, I've read the Bible, I read Revelations, it's my favorite book. And um, read Revelations 12, and the things that are happening right now matches Revelations 12 exactly, to the T. It's too, too, uh, too perfect to be coincidental, so I don't believe it's coincidental. It also speaks in the Bible to look to the stars, look to the skies for signs of the end. Yes, it's called the Bethlehem Star, I know so. I remember me telling you that the other day. Remember me telling you that, that star, I believe, is called the Bethlehem Star? Yeah. I remember you telling me that. But I learned about that on my church. I have to say, you can play games about church, about God and stuff, but not like playing games with God and stuff like that. Right, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know what we're talking about, when we're talking about the Bethlehem Star, I don't want to go into that. This video's already going on past seven minutes. Just uh, you can do a quick YouTube search. There's a couple good, really good videos on that uh, to explain what that Bethlehem Star is and why it also is important right now with everything else that's going on. So go check that out as well. You might it, it would it might help um, help you to understand everything. Might make things more clear. But uh, the moral of this little video is. Um, to express my opinion that I believe uh, we are in the last days, that prophecy is coming to pass. And Revelation 12 is coming to fulfillment. This is the end. Um, when I say this is the end, I don't mean it's going to be tomorrow, the next day, or even in a year. I believe we're in the last days, which means I believe uh, it, it is close, it's going to happen soon, but not by necessarily maybe not humans uh, con, uh, conception of time that our, our uh, the way we see time our perceivement of time there you go perceivement so it could be in the next hundred years it could be in the next thousand years uh, God doesn't measure time the same way we do so uh, a thousand of our years is only a day for him so keep that in mind when, when someone says that we are in the end it can take a long time a large amount of time uh, in our perception for prophecy to come to uh, fulfillment completely, for everything that has to happen, happen. Remember, it also speaks in the Bible that um, before the end comes, our this world, our world, Earth, will become under rule of one government, one country, one nation, one police force. Everything will be one, one currency. There won't be nations. There will be a nation. So and that's not happened yet, but there are talks of it. Uh, if you want to know what I'm talking about, all you got to do is Google uh, Mark Zuckerberg, um, One World Government, and that should probably pull it up. So uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hope y'all liked the video. Stay tuned for more. When I get up to Farmington, we got a lot of things planned, a lot of hiking, a lot of camping. A lot, of, a lot of cool and fun events that's going to be going on that we're going to be getting on the vlog, man. So y'all just stay tuned because there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of cool and awesome stuff on this on this vlog right here in the near future. So uh, tell everyone you know and get them to subscribe. That's it for this one. Later.